live radar, tracking storms, so you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 weather. Yet another active weather day in central Alabama. Severe thunderstorm watch technically continues until 8 this evening, although there's the possibility the storms may wind down a bit before then. But certainly some strong storms out there right now, and one severe thunderstorm warning remains on the south side of Aniston, uh, extending toward northern Clay County. Let's get a closer look at this complex of storms in east Alabama right now. Pretty intense. Now near and just south and west of Aniston, uh, right along the interstate, Talladega Super Speedway, Lincoln over toward Pell City, and now stretching down to the south of I-20. These storms have been uh, kind of meandering in the same location, so intense rainfall rates, a ton of lightning, and of course that threat for some damaging wind gusts and some of the cores or strongest parts of those storms. Now back farther to the west, these storms are not technically severe, but certainly on the strong side through much of Walker County back into Fayette County now stretching into northern Tuscaloosa County. I think the tendency here over the next hour or two will be for these storms to move farther down to the south and weaken with time. And it looks like things will start to quiet down here over the next couple of hours where it's not raining plenty hot again for today. 94 right now, Alabaster Clant. It's 95 in Tuscaloosa. You factor in that humidity and it still feels like 108 in Tuscaloosa, 105 in Clanton and we'll do it all over again tomorrow. Intense heat back in the forecast highs middle to upper 90s heat index values between 105 and 110 likely over the next couple of hours. Things will come to an end. We're quiet overnight tonight through the first part of tomorrow morning around lunchtime tomorrow. We'll start to see some thunderstorms erupting. It's going to be another likely active day heading into tomorrow afternoon and evening. Just like today, the strongest storms tomorrow have the potential to produce damaging wind gusts, some hail, of course, localized flooding and a ton of lightning. One more heat impact day for tomorrow, although it's still going to be quite hot and humid in the start of next week. Those storm chances, though, they're going up, especially starting Tuesday. That's the 4th of July, unfortunately, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, hopefully uh, for the 4th, we can get most of the storms out of here during the evening, early evening hours and quiet things down in time for those fireworks displays. You're watching WVTM 13-3.